Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Aston, estamos aqui para mais um vídeo. E hoje dá o início aí de IM Dallas 2023, que dá vaga para IM Colônia 2023. Mano, o campeonato valendo 1 milhão de dólares. E esse campeonato aqui, que é a Fúria, é a única representante, é valendo 100 mil dólares para o primeiro lugar. E a vaga aí, muito importante. E o primeiro jogo vai ser Fúria contra OG, o mapa da Inferno. E esse campeonato é em LAN, apenas o MD1, primeiro jogo. Fúria vezes OG. Espero que vocês gostem. E lembrando, os melhores momentos vão ser em inglês. Nós não podemos utilizar a imagem aí do Gaules, do canal principal dele entre as primeiras 24 horas então como vocês gostam dos highlights bem rápidos aqui no canal infelizmente vamos ter que usar a stream inglesa fechou tamo junto rapaziada espero que vocês gostem fique à vontade para se inscrever aqui no canal que fortalece muito e deixar seu like para apoiar o canal fique com os melhores momentos tamo junto fui precisas de novas skins registra te em CSGO Fest e faz os teus teammates invejosos dá boost na tua inventoria em alguns cliques Coloca o promo code e obtém bônus. Link na descrição do vídeo. Go, go, go. Nice shot. This is all the things. The flashes are here. The Flames is the one to get the first drop. Four moving together. They really need to find this trade frag, but OG are making them work hard for these frags, trying to delay as much as they can. Fiku's rotating from CT. He's got no grenades to support them, though, but he might not need them as Neo Frag gets the kill. Heat and Potty set up for OG, finally broken by Keiserato, but they have delayed so much. Look at all the CTs that are here. Down, both teams are going. The Arts, the last man standing. Last man yeah, for overwhelming firepower on this bomb site, but they're edging forward ever so carefully. No challenge for K Serato, just Jeff from Nico, who starts to lay now. Keep an eye on Flames on the radar as he starts to come through. This one could collapse for them. 1v3, Flames stuck in the corner. Big focus on that long area as the short support is forced away for the most part, but Nico is still here. Surprise, down goes I wasn't expecting that. Sees K Serato coming, hips first, and he'll be eliminated. And now the bomb will be seized as well. Nico and Regali with almost all the frags. Drop of four HP is the last one here. See if Regali can find a fight down mid. He's gonna keep this angle so his teammate can push into position. And Neofrag also pushing Banana. Pure aggression from OG, and it has worked perfectly. Furia continuing to press forward. 18 seconds on the clock, still trying to find these players. Yuri will find one at the very least. He's got both kills on the side, but through the smoke, Nico. Yuri still holding rotation in that short position. There are two CTs there. Neofrag's dropped the bomb there. That's all the information. But do the A players move now? 25 seconds, Yuri will hear some sounds, but it's about Art. He has to deliver here. He can't do it. Keserat is coming in to pick up the slack. He picks up lead from Fiku instead. Yuri, top mid, wasn't able to get anything done on those rotating CT players. And he's got 10 seconds. And again, he's got $100. He needs to die here. He's got to force the issue. He will. He needs to find where these CTs are. Fiku, that could be a horrible grenade as, as far as safe is concerned. But Fiku will fall for his insolence. There's the bomb. Three on three now. One minute on the clock. Everybody around this A bomb site. But can these long players get activated? Neo frags down, but can Flames play off of that? Walking through the smoke, he can! Finding two, making it a 1v1. Yuri with 14 HP. Needs a headshot onto Nico. Won't the find it. continue to stream in. Look at all the mollies. The fight for control. The flick from Regali. That'll be enough for now. Nico trying to make it awkward, but it's awkward for him. Yuri with the headshot. Regali with an angle. Safe lost in the meantime in that mid position. As Fiku's here as well. Speaking of awkward, doesn't get more awkward than this. 29 seconds on the clock. Shotgun mode for Regali. While Fiku tries to look through the gap. Boiler could be a problem for them as well. As Case Rato still lurking. This is so awkward for all of them. Regali lurking, hunting for that frag. But that's a horrible angle for him. Left eye peak, not ideal. 13 seconds. Flames is back again in the red and still standing. Case Rato and R2 versus two. Bomb getting planted. For the pit, Keiserato's here with the Gilel. Now he's history. He's in the books. The ink is dry. Art versus Neo Frag. That's important for OG to win. Perfect man to drop a grenade on. Flames. Cast in half by that. Great one tap by Art as well. Look at the flash come through. Being really patient oh. with the pistol. Two for one. Bargain. The meal deal, the hunger buster. But the round's not over just yet. Bomb still in control of OG. Three versus two. Fight. Still a 2v3. There is no kit here. Ding and the dong from the CTs. And now it's Nico as the last man to fall. Where is the bomb? There is the bomb. And safe positioning as well. OG just holding for now. They need to start delivering something. Okay, Serato initially engaged. Our safe is here as well. Looking for the trade frag. Stereo frags for OG. Drop and art remain. 
Art 12 HP in the library. He's still landing a headshot. That is extremely dirty from him. Fiku wondering where the second player is. Keeping an eye on short. He's got half the information. Art moving to the right-hand side. And with 12 HP, he gets both the last kills. Regali tagging Keisarato through the wall. No assumptions made up close either. And Art's being dropped. Now, surely this is a big green light for them. If they know that tags come through, they're going to send it. They're going to be like hyenas coming through here. Keisarato still drops the bomb carrier. That's a great gap in that smoke in favor of Furia. Whether it was meant or not. Big damage being done now. As we've got Keisarato looking to make play. He's dropped through the smoke. This is a complete disaster for OG. 2v3. Bomb planted. Flames half health with the AK-47. Fiku's here as well. There's no lurker on banana. Drops barrel is poking and now Flames is in the clutch. 18 HP. They know where he is. That is a thin pillar. And down he goes. Hounds of Justice found no justice towards B. Ooh. That really gets Furia into this game. What are these peaks from Flames? He's looking ridiculous, but it's even what? more ridiculousness from Case Serato with the 4K. Oh, nice entry, Flames. How about I just wipe your whole team out, says Case Serato in response. Oh my god. Not the kill that they were looking for. And Arsenal didn't take the fight to them. They weren't ready for this. I'm the art's not ready for that. I'm still recovering from that previous round, man. It's like... Okay, oh. never mind that. Fiku with two. <laughs> All right. No time no, to chill. No standing still versus OG with Deagles. Wow. Now, the question is, can they recover these rifles? Or will they be disposed of by these Furia plays? They need to concentrate on securing Banana first. But there's more Deagles now. As for, <laughs> What is this game? Like, what does Yuri do now? Does he just try and kill as many players as possible? I mean, he's 1v3. The thing is everyone else's fault. Regali still alive and he's got the angle. 20 HP might be enough. Nico swinging around the corner, but safe drops him. Doesn't need two shots, does he? OG struggling now. Some of these rounds have been close. Some has, there's been a back and forth here, but Furia are on a catch up and it's continuing. Nice entry from Fiku here, but will he be ready for the balcony player? Don't think he meant to put that smoke inside. I think that was supposed to drop onto the balcony to threaten the, threat the lurk out. But Neo Frag will find one through a smoke elsewhere anyway. Really clawing their way into these rounds, OG, whether it be rifles or pistols. 20 seconds on the clock. Are they really going to send it towards the B bomb site? They're still deploying smokes towards A here. Ooh. 13 seconds and drops walking. Okay. He's going to get the sound cues. The pre fire oh. is here, but he just eats all the wrong things for lunch. Wow. I can't believe there's time to plant this bomb. Big fight in the apartments as well. Furia not wanting to give anything up for just free. Push the smoke. He is. And look at the position he's compromised as well. Long is a big problem. One of the most important positions on this map for CTs. And that is forcing Art to stand in CT spawn while Flames is searching towards short. It's Flames again. Flames on the CT side and the T side. He is the problem for Furia. Jumping, corkscrewing to his doom now. A safe tries to defend A, but he will fall as well. And Art's in that angle once again. The bombs dropped on short. He has to deliver here. One minute, the teammates need to rotate. Drops making his way down Banana, but only with an MP9. Fiku's got 6 HP. Such a nervous situation. Didn't really have the tools for the job. Order position dropping down. He goes. Art's in the clutch. 1v3. And there's nothing else he can do. They've got one Molotov. Where do they throw it? They're going into the stack. But wait. Fiku's found the, the A bomb site's clear. They've got to run away. They've got to run away. But the bomb's too committed. No. Oh my god. Not like this. You've got so many advantages. Fiku is standing on the A bomb site. And the bomb makes it to coffins and dies. They have zero kills in this round. Five on two situation on this B bomb site. Surely that means success. Oh. Someone's got to get a smoke on this Molly, Molly. But they've got no smoke for the Molly. That's going to allow Case Ratter to rotate over. The flash is here. Uh, who's just run past? Nico, <laughs> Flames is here as well. They've got to deal with the CT on the side, but they won't. Breaking and the choke is... Over. 
smokes up on long and library. But Kate Thrato, I was going to say, finds the angle, but it's safe and gets the kill. Trades are happening. Yuri finds two, and now he's got the high ground advantage. But for how long? Ooh. Not long. Regali shotgun mode, no scope required. Makes it a two on two. Now he's in the clutch. He had to land that one. 21 HP might be enough. Concerns towards short. Molly on the side. Bomb has been planted. Kit for both CTs. They've got util as well. They've got more flashes to flash. Regali off this AWP angle. Every time he goes back, he's blind again. But now it's dropping to one versus two, creeping around the smoke. No one watching the angle. Who peeks first? Neofrag at double stack. Has the information now and will deal that final blow to drop. Ooh, Ooh first Neofrag. Fight goes against them. Yeah, he fired a fair amount of bullets there to no avail. And again, OG literally can't afford to lose this round. So it may mean overtime. It might be good for two. Yuri doesn't get the multi-frag on this occasion, but safe will clean up. He will hold the A-bomb site for now. The flashes keep coming though, but he delivers one shot, one kill. Regali trades in the clutch now. 1v3, one on the site. Ooh, lovely quick scope from him, but drop through the smoke again. Big flash coming. Oh no. Oh boy. This is scary for up. Scary watching it. Nico's down. Neofrag trades. They're looking to just send it into this bomb site. They're all here. Three of the four players are here for Furia as well. But the flashes are fantastic. Kesarato with two. Has he done enough? Flames to clean up now. One more to find on the site in this 2v2. Flames holding the angle, but he's got the bomb. What? That is a massive headshot from Flames. That changes everything. Safe went fishing. Traces so close to the smoke, immediately punished, leaving Yuri in the clutch. We've seen multi-frags from him in this half. But has he got one more in him? There are kits on the site on either side. But Flames, of course, to force it through and take the map and the match for OG. Fantastic, Ray, Mr. Flames on the side.